never know when you order from Wayfair. Oh my god, it needs to flap up more. Great way to start out the video. She moved. She lives in Portland. I'll fill in more information later, but welcome to my home. I live in a loft. I'll do a full room tour eventually. When I'm here for longer than a day, I sit and do my work. Yay! Mm -mm -mm. Nothing hits better than an ice cold Diet Coke on a hot day. I want you to get a full view of my new chair. You're just getting the top of it, but it's like a teddy material. I'm obsessed. All right, you're probably like, where are you, Cam? Where are you today? What room are you in? What is this weird? A lot of questions. I'm here to film a little update video. Try to keep it short and sweet, I always say that, but we will see if I'll be able to do that. <laughs> so, as you probably know, I am a flight attendant. I work for an uh, airline in the Pacific Northwest. It's pretty easy to put two and two together, but I grew up on the Washington side of Portland, but I've never actually lived in Portland, and my airline has a base here. But sadly, when I got hired, I was given the base of San Francisco. So you probably saw me move to San Francisco. Maybe I didn't even film much there. It was mostly more on my like Instagram, TikTok side because my life was so crazy and I didn't have the time or place to like sit down and film a video. I lived in San Francisco, worked there, had an apartment for two months with friends, with flight attendant friends. So I commuted down from home home like childhood home i've been there since then being a flight attendant is such a crazy life and there's two different ways of doing it you can either be on call which is called reserve which means you don't really pick your schedule and you're kind of just sitting around waiting for a call so you look at your calendar and it's either you're on call or you're not so the first few months i was on call in san francisco i'm trying to like lay this out good timeline wise but we'll see how this goes then things changed san francisco grew our seniority went up so we were able to hold a line most of the people from my hiring class so holding a line means you're given set trips so for the last few months i was just commuting in for the trip didn't even have a crash pad i probably i don't even think i filmed that because it was so chaotic i moved out of my crash pad which crash pad is a apartment pretty much filled with bunk bed with a ton of flight attendants and you just sleep there and fly it's just a little it's like a hostel for flight attendants <laughs> so for the last few months i have been commuting and doing that and just working trips and it's nice because i know where i'm going now it is may what's today may 17th it's 444 oh my gosh if taylor is watching 444 angel numbers so as of today your girl's officially off probation which probationary period i think every airline has pilots have a year-long one ours is six months and it is where you pretty much are just under a watchful eye there's a lot that goes into it but it's pretty much they're keeping an eye on you making sure you're following the rules and everything just for safety reasons it's pretty intense not everyone makes it through it's just be on your best behavior work your hardest work your little booty off to get on time and everything i'm officially off probation i think it's at 5 p.m today cheerio in 15 minutes i'll be off probation oh my god taylor just texted me <gasps> Oh my god, I'm gonna send her this video. She literally texted me 444. It's so funny. She also said, I'm sorry about your passenger yesterday. Oof, that is a long, long, long story. Should we go on that tangent? Um, I guess I will real quick. There's a lot of stuff that people don't realize that flight attendants deal with on the planes and part of that is when there's medical emergencies and yesterday I just had a really really scary day. I was working first class. It happened in first class. Pretty much you just have to do your best to handle the situation and use whatever resources you have. We have an on-call doctor. We were able to connect to them and get their advice and we also had a physician assistant on board. Bless her heart. It's just a really intense situation. It was so scary pure adrenaline rush me being an empath just feeling for them and wanting them to be okay and make it through and yeah we got them safely off into the hands of medical professionals right when we landed so scary and it was weighing on my heart last night yeah it's just one thing that people don't realize as a flight attendant you do have a lot of responsibilities yes you're serving drinks in the sky and 
opening cans of little Diet Cokes, but it's a lot more than that. People don't really realize that. So <laughs> go thank your flight attendant next time you see them. And you know, we're not perfect and we have our days and we try our best. Yeah, that was pretty crazy yesterday. I was drained, like emotionally, physically drained. Where was I? Let's get back to it. So I'm off probation. I'm still based in San Francisco as of May. There is a thing called a temporary swap. So you can do, you can do base transfers and whatnot, but there has to be openings. So I've been waiting for a base transfer, hasn't happened. So I found someone and I was like, hey, you're looking to go to San Francisco. I want to go to Portland. Let's do a little switch. So it's three months at a time. Worst case, if I don't get a Portland transfer in the next three months permanently, I will find someone else to swap with and it's so tough. I love San Francisco I've had such a good time. I love the people there. I love the flying but it'll be so much easier to be home My home base has changed so much in the last two years I counted and I think I've moved 13 times like out of my childhood house or into my childhood house since 2020 which is crazy. In 2020, I moved home from college because COVID hit. And then I moved into my college apartment, got diagnosed with cancer, went home. After that, I moved back to school, then back home, then to LA, back home, to LA again, back home. I feel like I'm missing something in there. I don't know. It's just been a lot of times moving back and forth between home and whatever place I was hoping to live. I loved living in LA. It was one of the best experiences that I will always hold so close to my heart. Taylor, who I was just texting, was my LA roommate. Love her to death. I miss those people. <laughs> now we have officially moved to Portland. I got a base swap for next month, so I will be a Portland-based flight attendant starting in June. Right now it's just June to August, hopefully permanently soon. It'll make my life so much easier because I won't have to commute in and commute out. Lately, I've been going at like 2 p.m. to the airport and I don't even fly till like 10 p.m. on a red eye. But I have to get there early enough just to make sure I'm there in case there's like a delay or a flight cancellation. It just takes a lot of my time and there are some people who commute their whole careers. I'm ready to live in Portland. I'm ready to be home. It's so nice. I live, you know, not too far from my parents' house. My sister lives in Portland. I never really saw myself moving back home this early. I was like, I'm gonna move to New York or lately I'm like, I wanna move to Boston or move back to LA because I loved my life in LA but it is so easy to live so close to my parents it's kind of cool because this is a city that I grew up near but I've never lived in like I've never actually had like a Portland address so now my address is Portland Oregon and it's kind of exciting I feel like I get to have a new relationship with the city and like learn to love it in my own ways I can take public transportation to Blazer Games now hopefully meet a cute Portland boy if my life will ever work out in that department and being a flight attendant just makes it worse but <laughs> Oh man. So life update. She's off probation. She's six months into being a flight attendant. I love the job. It has hard days, but I love it. It's so rewarding. I love the perks literally starting today at 5 p.m. I get all my international benefits, which I'm so excited to use. Hop on and go to London for a weekend. So welcome to my little Portland house. I am living in a house with some friends, some other flight attendant friends. It's just a whole new thing. And it's so funny. I've moved so many times, but this one I was excited for. I decided to choose this funky room in the house and she's got a lot of character and she's cute. My ceilings are a little weird. The space is a little strange but I think that we're making it work. I got this chair. I love it because I wanted somewhere else to sit besides my bed. I've been filling it with things that I already have. I still have a lot of stuff that I need to get just to make the space me. I love her. I put up some artwork. I have some fun artwork over here. If you want to more like footage of the room. I have that on my TikTok. I have this cute little corner over here where I got a record player and there's a light and my disco ball and a hanging plant. And I have my TV over here. Like last night I was just watching a movie and in my cozy little space and I have all these lamps. I love her. And this chair, got her from Wayfair. She's like a hundred something bucks. Like literally a hundred dollars, I think. 104. Love it. I'm obsessed. But yeah. I'm a Portland girl. It's kind of crazy. I live close to Kiara and I do have a handful of friends here. A lot of my like childhood friends sadly don't live here anymore, but we're going to make new ones and Portland summers are so fun. It's so beautiful here. It is hot today. It's like 94, which is killing me a little bit. That's my little life update for you. I hope it was exciting. Now it'll make sense why a lot of my videos take place in Portland or coming in or out of Portland. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you soon and I hope you're enjoying in the warm weather because she's here. Bye. <laughs>
Bye. 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 Bye.